Hello and welcome back to another Doctor Who action figure review. In today's review we're taking a look at the History of the Daleks set number 11, which is Genesis of the Daleks, featuring two grey Dalek drones from that story, one of the most popular Dalek liveries of the classic series, and just generally, uh, from one of the most popular Doctor Who stories ever. So as ever, let's begin by taking a look at the packaging. The figures come packaged in the standard window box, as we've come to know from last time. It no longer features the plastic window at the front. The figures are just stuck to the cardboard in a plastic bubble. But the design of the box is very much the same, with the gold foil sticker on the front and the red box out saying which story these Daleks are from. And then on the back of the box we have a little synopsis about the story and some history about the Dalek props themselves. And then out of the box, we have our two Daleks. These are fantastic. They have done a smashing job with these. If you watched my previous review of the creation of the Dalek set with Davros, you'll remember that I was very pleased with the new paint job. These Daleks have the same paint job. They are a very lovely glossy grey. There isn't a blue hue to be seen. Um, I've done some comparisons to what we see on screen. And yeah, this is so much better than what we had in the past. It's funny, really, because those old ones looked fantastic. But this new grey is a lot more accurate. So people are going to be very pleased and are going to definitely want to get hold of these. On the face of it, these two Daleks look exactly the same. But there are some details that set them apart from each other and from the previous Dalek in the Davros set. So we'll take this Dalek first, which is the Dalek that doesn't have the oval in the middle. This one has the Mini Cooper dome lights on top with the white wash. You've got the standard eye stalk with the grey, silver, the blue rings and the glossy black for the eye. Now comparing this to the one that came with the Davros set, this one is more accurate in terms of the eye stalk. Sadly, the Davros one didn't have the grey going into the dome. So this is more accurate in that regard. We've got the usual Dalek mesh for the neck. You've got the slats with the mesh as well. Like with the previous Davros set, there's no silver or anything on the mesh. This is just flat grey. It is exactly as they appear in the story. And then moving down to the gun and plunger, you've got the gun, which is completely in black, like a lot of the Daleks in that story have in terms of gun sticks. And then you have the plunger, which is just a matte black with the silver arm attachment. And then that finishes on a black ball joint. Like I said earlier, the shoulder area, there's no oval. In fact, I think this is probably the one I did try to do a bit of detective work. I think this is the Dalek that rolls over the detonation wires and blows up the incubator room. And then great work on the glossy hemispheres. And then much like with the Dalek in the Davros set, you've got that lovely tarnished silver effect all around the fender to make it look tired and battered, like he's been bumping into things or that the BBC prop men have been bumping these poor Daleks into things. Honestly, it's a beautiful Dalek. It looks ever so good. They've done a very, very nice job with that new paint. The other Dalek that comes in the set is almost the same, bar a few details. So the key ones that I will point out now are we have the oval in between the gun and the plunger. And the plunger ends on a silver ball joint rather than a black one. Now, the other difference is the dome lights. The dome lights here are slightly different. They have a large outer ring. This is a brand new mold. Now, I don't know if these were used in Genesis of the Daleks, I assume that they probably were. The use of these dome lights are going to become more apparent as we move into other Dalek sets coming up, specifically the Destiny of the Dalek set, which will be coming out as a review next time. Those are the sort of key differentiating features. And I mean, this works as a very good army builder pack. And like I said at the start, it's the most popular Dalek from one of the most popular Doctor Who stories ever made. People love these guys. It just made sense that this was going to be an army builder pack because people are going to want to be buying these in their droves. And then much like with every other Dalek, these Daleks have the exact same articulation. You've got rotation at the head, which goes 360 degrees. Oh, it's a bit stiff. Pivoting eye stalk up and down. Rotatable gun stick at the ball joint and same for the plunger. This doesn't have the previous issue with the Genesis Dalek with the paint rub because this is cast in silver, it's not painted silver. And then much like with every other Dalek, he's on 
two wheels at the back going forwards and backwards and then a fully rotating wheel at the front that is the history of the dalek set number 11. what a fantastic couple of daleks here they are side by side with the original release and look how blue they look compared to these new ones on the right hand side what a transformation and yeah like i said these new ones are far more accurate they look amazing keep an eye out on bnm good luck tracking them down i hope you can beat the scalpers thank you all for watching guys and i will see you all very soon Bye bye